Hey heroes, Isaac Zephyr here. Just uh, renovating a little bit. Oh, can't require reach that. All right. So here's the basic layout of the room. Uh, we've moved the lava now from here, which is going to be nice to have out of the way. Here's just one. Oh uh, yeah, I uh, took out all the wood that was here. Just save us some time. I gotta extend the roof a little bit, just so that we've got some more vertical space. Uh, probably gonna have a ladder up there, which is gonna lead to the second floor where we have sheep. And I'm gonna have to, I think, trim some of this down or work in behind it to where I'm gonna have uh, the pop-up farm built. Anyway, should I keep everything lit? But yeah, there's just one little snag with the problems. So this big middle sec- oh yeah, I apparently did some miscalculations in terms of measurements because if I go this way, and we come out, like the room is round and it's parallel on both sides, but for some reason, this is seven blocks wide. Three six seven so this room is one wider than it should be or one smaller i'm trying to think of where i screwed up so that's four five four five two, one, two, three, five six eight pillars um, Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Let me just do some math. Check the grid. Alright, I think I see where my problem is. So this here. It's supposed to be one in more into here. I don't know. Anyway, I'll ch I'll check out um, the math on it later. See where I screwed up. I mean, having it one extra wide doesn't really affect anything. It just means that on the top layer I might have a problem. Uh, I kind of want to fix that problem though, actually. Because I think what it is is it's one, two, three, four. And that'd be one, two, three, four. No, one, two. I think it's this wall here. This should all come out one more. From this point, it should come on in one more, which will adjust all that. Anyway, this probably size just got too many. I'll fix that later, though. Now is that the concern. I've just kind of gotten off into a tangent and kind of losing my train of focus. It's a bit late at night. Anyway, this, though, is a problem. If I just take this out... And unlike the previous two, it's kind of big and threatening. You can see that little gravel island in it down there, and then it just goes on and on. So, unlike the previous one, I don't think there's one, or the previous ones, this isn't going to be quite as easy to get back to the tank. Like, I'm thinking, yeah, this here... If I use this wall for egg collection and that wall for just uh, the poultry press and have it all buried under there, then this shouldn't get in the way, but I don't know. Might push it a little bit. I may need to move a lot of some of it for redstone. Anyway, just a lot of little bits with this room. Let me 
just patch this up here, knowing that I screwed this up. Dude. Hack, dang it. Dang, double clicking. Just doing the main floor level. You know, with a room of this size, it was easy to make a mistake, so... Not a huge deal that I have to go back and do it. I've been trying to try a couple of other games out as well, just in terms of. Uh, like that. No, just increase this way. Yeah, just trying to try out a couple of other games as well. There we go. Now the room is how it was intended. So if these two are the center. This should line up perfectly with that door. Awesome. So yeah, that's just a little patchwork I need to do. But yeah. Once we uh, dig out the ceiling, I also probably will get it done next episode. I mean, you know, this episode, I'm a little groggy. Just had a date night and whatnot. So I'm just kind of trying to orient myself after that. Stomach's overly full, not feeling too great from that, but need to get something done. Alright, so. Yeah. I'm enjoying that there's slimes around here. It's actually just giving me a chance to, while they're there, collect up some slime balls for sticky pistons, because we're going to need a lot for this project anyway. Let's just see if we can go hunt that sucker down. Alright, this tunnel... I hate how obscure they sound. They're hard to listen for. There he is. Yeah, this stuff's all going to be wind up filled in with redstone anyway, for the double door. Or the double piston door. There we are. Just put a torch down here, just so that zombies or nothing don't spawn in. Um, Alright. Lots of plans. Lots and lots of plans. I also started uh, mapping out plant farm as well. Sadly, though... It's not going to be small, say that. I did the just basic measurements for the tree farm that I want there. Because I want it to have like a very like foresty look. Like, you know, you're entering the forest. This is where all the plants grow and whatnot. And the final length for that is going to be something like 330 blocks. Just in one direction and then open in others so it's going to take a lot of space i'm thinking i can't decide if i want open to the air or whether i want it to have like a distinguished roof area maybe some flying buttresses to use you know gothic building terms yeah but yeah it's kind of my next Goal is going to be that one when I'm done this. And once I'm done this one, though, as well, we'll also be able to, yeah, start building in some of the doors with the zodiac designs and whatnot. All right. Yeah, 
The other thing I'm still having trouble with is just doing a melon farm. Yeah, I know I'm trying to talking all and off, just trying to fill up the time for uh, for the episode while I do this. Um, and like I said, just kind of groggy. Yeah, trying to contemplate the melon farm because I want for my melon farm. I want to it to uh, pick them for me, so that's easy enough just by using some pistons. But I don't want to have to get up for it. It's like uh, a lot of the melon farms it, like uproots them all, and then you're good. You just go and pick them up. Mine, I want to press a button, have them all go, all picked for me, and then show up in a hopper or my pocket, whichever one is closer at the time. Which means generally using water in most cases. The only problem with using water with them is that it'll uproot the plant. And if I uproot the plant, then I gotta replant them, and then it's gonna kill growing time and all that stuff. Which means I need a way to control the water and control where the melons will drop. Because, sadly, even in all of my best attempts to make a melon farm that'll do this, melons can still sometimes fall onto the area that the, the plant takes up, because it's a transparent block. And when that happens, you can't get to it with water. I've also tried various timing mechanisms, because if you screw up, you can kill all of your plants. So I'm thinking just like a double piston idea. First one pulls the dirt out from under the melon. The second one pushes the melon downwards, because you know, in a hope that maybe they won't go at that or go towards the plant. You know, maybe I can force them down or something. I don't know. Lots of exploring to do in that scenario. Um, but I can work on that. Probably in a redstone episode I might have one soon. Of just, you know, my various farming mechanisms that I'm working on. Anyway. Alright, sounds like there's noise coming out from other areas of the household, so yeah, sadly for now yeah, it seems like it might be time for me to head and code up this episode for tomorrow, so yeah, till then just gonna keep extending this room and hopefully I can start building up something or luring animals in here, cause yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there this uh, room, like I said, is going to need another floor and some more design on how I want to do that. I'm th hoping we have enough redstone for it all with uh, all of our various stacks. But having to make pistons and repeaters could get in the way, as well as having to make torches. I'm hoping we got enough. Plus, I'm going to have to build uh, the cow killing one. Unless I want to manually kill them for now, which shouldn't be too hard. But, you know, it'll kill my sword. Unless I want to punch him to death, which... No. I could probably drown him. Drowning might work. As a temporary... Until I get the other system built. Yeah, I might do drowning. No, because I can't do immediate drowning if I breathe them. Hmm. I need to wait. Conundrums. Most of them might mean some more strip mining then, I guess. Alright, so we're running out the end of this pick. Dogs barking. People talking. All sorts of fun stuff in the background. Hopefully also, uh, my own microphone will be done in the next couple of days. Alright. Yeah. yeah. Me and Rifty have actually taken, uh, we got... Not really a, a hobby, but just kind of a thing to do. We've been going to uh, the more uh, little-known restaurants and whatnot around uh, the city, and uh, specifically ones that have like you know just platters of massively huge plates of just junk. Um, you know, various things full of uh, like entrees or. What's the one, uh, 
there's a local place called Lonnie's, and uh, one of the things that they have is the drunk junk, and what it is, it's a poutine in the center, and it's surrounded by, like, all of their fun entrees, like, uh, their mozzarella sticks, chicken strips, chicken, or popcorn chicken, just all sorts of yummy little appetizers, all on one big plate, surrounding your poutine, so it yeah, it's really greasy, really fatty, but really delicious. And yeah, there's nothing quite like delicious. I think I made a mistake here again. Yes. That shouldn't be like that, I think. No, just wait. Ugh. It's gotta bug me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Circles in Minecraft. Egg. And uh, that's wrong that way because that's too short. Alright, so let's go three, three. This one's one. Where is it? Three, three, one. Along this way too. FFS. All right. Obviously, I've got some measurement problems to deal with, so I'm gonna drop this episode here. Uh, Till next time. This is Isaac Zephyr. Just signing out. And apparently, failing at measuring in his disgruntled, sleepy state. So, once again, signing out. See y'all later, heroes.